Hi everyone, I'm George from China Pacific Marine. Today I want to show you around the Janot Mary Fisher 795 Sport Series 2. Um, behind me is Trio Beach in Sai Kung, Hong Kong. This boat, it's designed by Mr. Santowski. It's got a huge pilot house and it's got a vertical windscreen which gives a lot of interior space to the pilot house. And on the sides of the boat, uh, you'll see that there are black and uh, red decal stickers, which are very eye-catching. This sport adventure utility boat features a starboard side door, which op opens up like this. It's really good when you have big bags, uh, camping rucksacks or stand-up paddles for you to walk onto the boat uh, safely. It's also good for when you're mooring and you're single-handed, it's, so it's easier for you to board onto the uh, pontoon. At the after the boat of this one door version model, we have this removable bench seat and there's an, also an option for you to have a galley over here in this position. This bench seat opens up and you can put a lot of miscellaneous items in there. Uh, in the center of the boat, we have the lazarette, which is very deep and very wide. The good thing about this uninterrupted space is that you can put larger items uh, onto the boat. We've got the stand-up paddle board in here. We've got fenders, cleaning equipment, swimming gear. And at the very bottom, I've got the cockpit table and post. So if we need to use that, uh, we can get that out of the storage. On the side over here, we've got a port side folding bench seat, and it's an option to have one on the starboard side. We've got the aft folding bench seat over here, and it's an option to have cushions and a backrest. We have the chopping board at the back of the boat, which is a movable. And this entire base can be moved forward if you want to trim your engine up fully. Uh, you just pull it. As you can see, we have a Yamaha 250 horsepower outboard engine. At cruising, you would be going 4,000 RPM. You'd be burning about 40 liters of fuel an hour. And with the 280 fuel liter fuel tank, uh, you could be running this boat for seven hours cruising. And of course, we have two swimming platforms at the back. And we have the shower hose, which is always handy for you to wash down your gear or wash down yourself after a swim. At the starboard side of the boat, we have a fish box, which also has an electric pump out. Um, I've just got two uh, boat hooks here with my tarp, which I set up. And the electric pump out switches here. And at the aft of the boat, uh, we have a proper live well, which has an option to have a seawater pump in. And you just remove a pole and the water can drain out of this live well box as well. On the port side, we have the battery box. We've got one engine battery and it's an option to have uh, two house batteries, which we've added. Uh, moving towards the pilot house, uh, you can see that we've got the starboard biased uh, walkway, which is wider than the port side. And at the helm, we have the Garmin chart plotter with a fish finder. We've got the Yamaha multifunction gauge and we've got the fusion uh, control panel. We have two speakers in the pilot house at the back um, on each side. We've got the Yamaha uh, remote control box and the ignition here. We also have trim tabs on the left hand side over here and uh, wiper controls with water. Electrical equipment power on. We have navigation and anchor lights. We've got the bilge pump switch, fresh water pump switch, aft cockpit work lights, which is an option. We've got the horn and we have the windless control up and down. Moving into the pilot house, we have this sliding window, which is really important for passing drinks to your friends or uh, receiving plates uh, from the outside to the inside. So you can wash them over here. We've got the basin here with fresh water. And on this, on the port side, we have a basin, but without fresh water. Um, under me, this bench seat, 
Uh, you've got a lot of storage. It's an option to have a 12 volt refrigerator in this middle part. And you have other various storage in, around, in and around this bench seat. Under me here is the waste tank and you've got a little bit of uh, cushion space if you really need to have that. And we've got the fuse box in here. And above me, you've got this big open hatch. I've got it fully opened now. You can push it forward to close it all the way or you can have it partially opened. And this particular model is the one door version. It's got the sliding door on the starboard side and we've, as an option, added the port side sliding door. Um, but there is a two door version where you'd have the sliding door and a sliding door at the back aft here. And you'd be missing this middle section of the seat um, in that configuration. The helm seat is rotatable and the navigator seat is also um, movable. So you can have a social setting uh, have beers in here. Uh, you could, if it's raining uh, or if the weather's bad, you can shut the hatch and uh, you can partially close the doors and you can have a great time uh, in the cabin, away from the elements and still have plenty of fresh air if you turn, up, uh, turn on this fan. Um, so down here in the cabin area, um, I'd call it a double bed with this removable triangular piece. Once you put this in place, uh, one person can sleep here and the other person can sleep on the left over here. Uh, we've got an LED light just above my head over here. And there is a porthole over here if you want some air. But what really impresses me about this boat is that it's got a huge a hatch which opens up. And because of the angle of the hatch, it draws in a ton of air into the bedroom over here. And I'm really happy about that, especially in a hotter climate like Hong Kong. Over here in the toilet, we've got another LED light. And it's not exactly a standing toilet, but you can sit, sit in it without problems. And I'm sure the ladies would really appreciate that on a seven meter boat. We've also got a tap here with a basin. So at the front of the boat, it's really comfortable. You've got cushions all around and this middle part you can have an option to add a cushion and make this into a sunbed. Another option is to have a forward cockpit table here as well. And you can also have a removable sunshade with two poles at the front and the tarp extending from the pilot house to the front of the boat. If you enjoyed this video, please give it a like, leave a comment and also subscribe to our channel so you know when we put out uh, new videos. Thank you so much for watching and I'll see you on the next one. Cheers.